Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, each day that we face brings new challenges. And our daughter Alicia is coming in to, uh, today, actually. And this week has kind of been scattered. Miss Janice is getting the house all ready and all that sort of stuff. You know, when the kids come home, that's a special time. Our daughter's 31. Our son is 30. And Alicia lives in Chicago. Aaron lives in uh, Gainesville, Florida. And, you know, when we get to see them, it's a very special time, especially for mom. Of course, dad loves it too, but, you know, mom really just gets locked into this and she wants to make sure the house is clean, which everybody understands. Now, I don't fully understand picking up all the clothes all the time, and I really don't understand those towels that you can't use in the bathroom. Say amen right there, somebody. Uh, one day I was walking into the bathroom when we lived in Florida, and I started to dry my hands in the guest bathroom, and I put my hands up to get the towel, and Janice happened to walk by. And she yelled out, don't touch those towels. And I thought, what's wrong with these towels? She said, those are towels to look at. You're not supposed to dry your hands on them. Well, that didn't make any sense to me, but that's a, that's a woman thing, I guess. But uh, nonetheless, everything, you know, has kind of been a little bit squirrely this week because Alicia's coming in. We're trying to get everything ready and trying to plan some things for her and all that stuff. And, you know, when you think about it and you have somebody come in your home, even a family member, you want the place to look nice, and you want things to be a little bit different, even though it is a family member and somebody that really doesn't care that much. They just want to be home. But you know, the, the uniting of, of family is such a wonderful thing, and friends, as you come together and see each other. Let me ask you about this for a minute. Because the Spirit of God that resides in us is a place of fellowship, and our fellowship with the Father is very important, that we're one-on-one -on -one with the Father, and we meet with the Father every morning, in prayer, in Bible study, we talk with the Father through the day. We have this relationship. Now, our house, our physical house, the one that uh, Janice and I live in right now, well, the, she's been working on that all week. But I've also seen her every morning working on her spiritual house. She sits down with her Bible and her notebook and her pencil, uh, and she spends her time uh, in the Word of God. I do the same. I just do it at my office. Uh, so it's very important to understand that not only your physical house should be in order, but your spiritual house. So let me ask you about that. You may have the cleanest house of anyone in your family or anyone in your community, but your spiritual house may be all messed up. I mean, it's wonderful to have clean floors and a clean uh, sink and uh, all the clothes caught up and all that sort of stuff. All that's good, but you have to take that spiritual time. You have to work on your spiritual house. You have to take the time to sit down and, and listen. I, please hear me. I understand Many people pray on the roads. I understand all that. Many people pray, meditate about stuff. I understand all that. But the private time that you have with Christ cannot be taken with anything else. It, there has to be a time. There has to be, you say, well, I don't have the time. Well, we all have time. I mean, we all can dictate pretty much some time in our lives. I mean, it may not be but five, ten minutes, but you, you can have time. Uh, that private entity is very important, you see. That private entity, let, let me tell you what it's like. The private entity of your spiritual life is like getting the dust out from behind the television or under the dresser in the bedroom. I mean, who, who ever looks at that? But it doesn't matter to most people, but the housekeeper, the person, the woman of the house, uh, whomever, that matters because they know that there's dust there. Same thing in your spiritual house. You know, you know where you are. And I want to tell you that that intimate time with God will make an incredible difference in your life when you spend it every day. And we ought to keep our houses up, our cars up. We ought to keep our offices up. Don't look at mine. I'm glad you can't see around here too much because I've got stuff all over in here. But we, we ought to do that. But I know where stuff is. Say amen right there. But here, here's the thing. I need to make sure that I'm taking care of what I have. But also, listen, I also need to make sure that I'm taking care of what has me. What has me? The Holy Spirit has me. Jesus Christ has me. I need to make sure that I'm keeping that relationship strong, clean, and pure. If I'll do that, God will bless me for it. And if you'll do it, God will bless you for it. Not only take care of your outside stuff, but take care of your inside spiritual man and woman. And God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.